My name's Gerald Holmes. Um, I've lived on part of this farm all my life and it's been amalgamated now to be 250 hectares. My son Caleb uh, manages the dairy herd and I look after the cultivation on the farm. We have all the stock on, we don't have a runoff, but we do buy in uh, supplementary feed. We milk um, 600 cows, they're 500 kilo animals and uh, we do 600 kilos per cow. This um, smart shelter was put in here. I look after the young stock, so I was wanting to be able to care for them well, having done so throughout the rest of the season. Our soils get very wet, so this went in. It's uh, 20 metres wide and um, it's aerated daily with a ripper. The high roof here, yeah, that certainly helps to allow a good um, air movement um, through. But there's also the safety feature that when you're putting things in, somebody have to be pretty silly to put something through the, the canvas cover. This shed is just uh, normally used for um, wintering then calf heifers. I tried to winter them on all grass, which meant off on grazing. So the decision had to be made about when they came on or off. This is just more straightforward. It's just the routine thing that happens. It is far more involved, but um, we don't pug paddocks that meets both council and my want so that I can just have um, good pasture coming out of the winter. Actual monetary value, I, I think it actually would be neutral by the time we've paid for the bedding and paid for the ripping. Coming out into the spring, the pasture can be growing, all guns going as opposed to it being damaged in the winter time. To quantify it, it, it means that your spring is less busy because otherwise I'd be drilling the damaged pasture. This is our dairy herd and um, it's a cold day, but they seem to be really interested. They've already had a decent feed. We can make silage or we can top at a last resort um, to control the pasture. Smart shelters is part of that process so that we can have offer good pasture um, all year round so that in the winter time, they're not pugging the ground that would otherwise be highly productive at this time of year. I cleaned this out prior to this, this winter and um, spread it out on um, the next crop paddock. Clearly the amount of nutrient um, that's coming in here and the cows dung and everything else has got to be tremendous value to the farm. The feeding out's done first thing and then it's swept up um, with just one of these big slab bales on, a, on an angle. The cows are then eating at the face so um, the ripping can be done on the rest of the pad. Because you've got controlled feeding, they wouldn't be eating 10 kilos a day. The, in calf heifers. In here, the, the bedding, uh, the wood chips, about 600 deep. It's ripped um, daily and um, the 160 cows, 10 square metres is about right for that number to have a good composting system going. It's particularly frosty mornings, um, there's quite a bit of steam comes off. Uh, quite interesting how much condensation runs down the edges of the, of the building, which shows that the moisture is coming out of the bedding material. The material on the floor is so good that um, the calves that were coming off in, in this shed this year were just so clean and uh, warm and happy when they were up that um, yeah, a properly composted bed would be um, ideal for, for the calves to survive and do well on. When they come in here, they, they absolutely love it. They're reluctant to leave even when we want to get them out onto grass. They, um, they certainly enjoy the ambience of the, of the building. The plan was um, to put a second smart shelter in nearby the cow shed for a calving pad. The new shed is um, slightly bigger and the intention was to have 200 cows in that shed. To me, it was the only economic way that I could see of actually being able to winter the stock and meet the new uh, regulations. And it was something that we were more used to and our stock were more used to and the staff were more readily able to get used to. From an economic point of view um, and for a cow comfort, um, point of view, I, I think it's very difficult to beat um, the concept and smart shelters seem to be um, right up there with, the, with a very good product. <laughs>